Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. My name is Said Shah and in this demonstration I will be showing you how to upgrade CentOS 7.0 to CentOS 7.3. You could, my, de my demonstration is going to show you this but uh, you could really do this with any version of CentOS. So as you can see on screen just now uh, I've got my Hyper-V manager which is the hypervisor manager. And I, I'm going to do this on a virtual machine. So I'll firstly, I will go through creation of a CentOS 7.0 uh, VM. And uh, once that's done, we will upgrade it to CentOS 7.3. So I'm going to create a new VM. I will call this CentOS 7, CentOS, 7.0 to 7.3. I'm just going to use generation one. I'll give it two gigs of RAM. Not really, not really needing the uh, the, the the networking for this purpose because what I'm demonstrating is to you is how to do an offline upgrade. So we're not going to be using the internet for those servers that don't have internet access. Um, this, this setup will be fine. So the version I'm going from is CentOS 7.0. So I'm going to insert the ISO, which is for CentOS 7.0. Click finish, that will create the VM. Just open that up and uh, power that on. So I'll go, I'll run through the installation quickly. Uh, CentOS 7.0, just boot up the disk. I mean, the offline installation really, these days a lot of servers they don't have especially on the corporate network, they don't have internet access. So this this CentOS 7 box could be something, you know, like a, a proxy server uh, that forwards traffic to another proxy, internet-based proxy. So, you know, this, this server might not have internet access itself. So let's, uh, I will select English UK, because that's where I am. And I will click continue. You, you're probably already familiar with this CentOS 7 installation, so I'm not going to go into too much detail with this. I'll just briefly cover the installation summary page. The only action that I need to really do is confirm the installation uh, partition type, and I'm just going to do the automatic installation. Do not need network for this purpose. So I'll just click begin installation, and it will start installing. Uh, I do have to set a root password. I'm just going to use some. Not very secure password, but this is not the recommendation. So I will let this install and I will come back when the installation is complete. As you can see now, the installation has been completed and uh, we can reboot this server. So I'm going to hit reboot. I will dismount the media, which I did from clicking media on it. So it's gonna boot directly into the disk. And boot the installed operating system CentOS 7.0. Shouldn't take very long. Now we can log in. I will log in with the root account and with my password. So once logged in, I would like to just show you that uh, we are running 7.0. So you can see there, CentOS release 7.0, 1406. And uh, what we will do now is uh, 
Well, firstly, let me mount the new media, which is this one. CentOS 7 one six one one this is version 7.3 so i will mount this to the vm it is an iso and uh, let me create a mount point and this is the commands you need to create a, a folder so i will create this folder in the root which is cd rom and i will mount the DVD into that folder. So you can see there it's, it's, it's mounted successfully with the uh, read only. And what I would like to do now is uh, I need to set this DVD ISO of 7.3 as the repository to install packages. And the way we do this is we firstly we go into the Etsy yum dot repos dot d folder. If I do a directory listing here, you'll see that we've got four files, four repo files already in this. So these repo files direct the operating system to go out to the internet and uh, download the packages from there. Now, there's a couple of options we have for disabling them. Firstly, we could go into the file. Uh, if I just show you what's inside this file, the CentOS base repo, you can see that the base, it gives you, it, it, for each uh, it gives you a URL and what, what we could do is we could add uh, another option in there in this file which disables this repo file but uh, let me clear the screen first and do another do another directly listing because this server is going to be used offline it will never connect to the internet. All work's going to be done offline. Uh, I can just delete these four files and create a local repository file. And for our purposes, that works. So I will do rm, which is remove. Everything in this directory which begins with CentOS hyphen. And it will just We'll go through some confirmations to delete all of this. I'll do another listing. You'll see that there's no there's no repo files in this folder anymore. So I will create a new repo file, and I will call it. Uh, I'm open. I'm opening this file up in VI editor. So at VI local dot repo. It does have to. Uh, it does have to uh, start with. Uh, end with the repo so local.repo i'm going to open this up i'm going to press i to to put me into insert mode and then i will set this local repo up give it a name local repository give it the base url which points to the CD-ROM. This is what I was saying, the enabled flag. This one's going to be on. We want to perform the GPG check and we will give it the location of the GPG key, which is at this location. This is case sensitive. So I just make sure that you don't make any, any mistakes here.
and that's the location of the GPG key. Now we can just press colon WQ for write and quit. So if we want to just have a look at if that's been written correctly, local dot repo, and that looks fine. So now what we could do is uh, we will do a yum clean yum clean all clean up the repositories and what we can do now is we could uh, run the update so yum minus y update and that should pull everything new from the the latest ISO so you can see now it's, it started we've got 453 packages uh, the original, you could see earlier when I installed CentOS 7.0 I installed the minimum version so it was just the base packages so I and I and I haven't installed any other packages since then so we're upgrading just the base OS. But if you have installed anything else, for example, HTTP server or FTP mail server or Squid or anything like that, then this upgrade process will upgrade everything. So it will, whatever you have installed on your, as long as it comes from the CentOS repositories, it will upgrade. If you have any extra add-ons that you've installed from extra packages from any other repositories then those ones you'll have to manually download it because they won't be included in the CentOS pack everything package uh, as ISO package so I will just pause this and I will come back when this is all done now you can see the upgrade process has been completed and it's dropped us back at the command line so because this is uh, we're upgrading to a newer version we there, there, there will most likely be a new version of the kernel so what we should what we need to do now is reboot this server so what i will do firstly is i will dismount this media and i will I will issue a reboot command. System CTL reboot. So let's just wait for this to reboot. It shouldn't take too long. Yes, so we've got a new version of the kernel. So once this, this is rebooted and we're at the command line, we can log in and check the version. So I will log in with the root account to my password. Right, so now I would like to check the version like I did before. So this we can do using this command. And you can see that now we have CentOS release 7.3.16.11, which, which is a newer version than the 7.0 we had initially installed. Now, as this is an offline, offline uh, server, meaning it doesn't have internet connectivity, uh, as it's part of an internal network and it's not going to be used on the internet to access the internet, is blocked off uh, we we will if we look at the repos directory again, uh, folder again oh, sorry it's in etsy yum dot repos okay. if i do a listing as i did before earlier on you will see that uh, because of the upgrade we've 
we've we've got the the base CentOS uh, repositories back again. So for in the future, if you need to upgrade this server again to a newer version of CentOS 7, then you will do the same thing. You will mount the ISO and you will uh, you will do an upgrade offline for which you will not need these URLs, uh, these repos, these uh, online repos. So just so that those are not showing here, I would like to remove them because I won't be using them because this is an offline server. So if I do a listing again, so now I've only got the local repo. If I have a look at the local repo, you can see that it's the local repo file that we created originally. So I hope this video has been informative for you. And uh, if you, if you, if it's useful, please hit the like button and subscribe for future videos. And I'd love to hear any comments on the videos. Thank you very much.